Does anyone have a need? The need for speed? If so, come on down and check out my top 10 need for speed games. In 3, 2, 1, go. Number 10, Payback. Let's go ahead and put the negatives aside. The story and characters are pretty mediocre and just not that memorable. The textures do not fully load before the gameplay does. The car looks horrible. <laughs> Actually, the grab. What the fuck? Yeah, the cars look horrible. Turn down the graphics. What the <laughs> fuck is this? Turn down the graphics. Oh, wow. that load in right there. Oh, there we go. It loaded in a little bit more, but it still looks bad. There is no cops in free roam. And the elephant in the room. Loot boxes. No! 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 Acceleration. Oh! As for the positives, some races can be fun. There's a lot of nice cars to choose from. I, no joke was so excited to try out the Koenigsegra Jera for the first time in a Need for Speed game. Unfortunately, there's just not enough positives for the game to even be any closer to the top. Number 9, Need for Speed 2015. This is similar to Payback, but I think 2015 looked better than Payback. At least that game's textures actually load properly, and also the game's free roam takes place at rainy night time which I really do like. Just like Payback, this game has a generic story and uninteresting characters. Was it the 277? Yeah. I bet you don't even know this man. This is personal favorite. Just back up and take a deep dude. breath. That been off from this guy, a drive. In one of his own 911s, no less. How did he even get your number, man? Huh? So what if hey, someone right? got my number? I gave it to him. Relax. Relax? Yeah. Relax. That was my ride! I heard that. Mike, stop it. Chill, man. Come on. We're all on the same side here. Travis is just pushing you because he wants you to be great. I don't need his help. Now, new guy over here is getting all the credit. Yeah? What? Huh? Hey, give me back the fuck up, man, or I'll beat the shit out of you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Seriously? This is what you wanted. You're on Magnus' radar. One of us gets noticed, we all get noticed. It's a package deal. All right? Thank you, Travis. I'm sorry, man. Also, there's no pause button, which is stupid. Some fans may disagree with Payback and 2015 being anywhere on this list, but this is just my opinion. I may not like these games a lot, but trust me when I say, it's gonna get much better from here. Starting with number 8, Hot Pursuit 2. If I ever hear about a sequel better than the original, I would totally be on board. Though I never played the first Hot Pursuit game, I just knew that 1 and 2 had a neat reputation in the franchise. No Need for Speed before Underground came out had a story mode or characters, but it does have a nice selection of missions and cars, so there's really nothing else to complain about. Now let's take a break from the police and discuss number 7, Pro Street. Compared to most of the franchise, Pro Street went into a different direction. I like the idea of racing with other cars in closed courses and giving it the feeling of a typical Need for Speed game with a killer soundtrack, various race types, and are of course cars. Even though there is no free roam or cop cars involved, it still had that in FS feel, whereas Shift 1 and 2 felt like clones of the Forza Motorsport and Gran Turismo games. There's not much story. You are a faceless protagonist named Ryan Cooper progressing his way to race against five bosses. I've played the Wii version, and I will say the motion steering controls work quite well, so I recommend any version Pro Street was released on. Number 6, Carbon. Carbon is a sequel to Most Wanted 2005, and it's not really as good. For starters, in the story mode, there are only four main rivals to go up against, so you could beat the story mode quicker than most wanted. The challenge series, though there is more variety, there's not as many challenges to choose from. The overall gameplay still has that most wanted feel and the customization has expanded, but not as expanded as the next game. Number 5, Eat, as the fourth installment developed by Ghost Games. This is a massive improvement over 2015 and Payback. 
Better customization. Better gameplay. Pretty much better everything. Loot boxes are absent. Meaning you can buy performance with money you earn just by winning races. You are given the option between racing during the day or during the night. This is honestly the one of the two best games Electronic Arts has released in recent years. What was the other game you might be wondering? Number 4. Hot Pursuit 2010. Even though this game was released over a decade ago, they remastered it in 2020, so there's that. Anywho, this is a fantastic reboot of the Hot Pursuit duology. Where to start? There's a variety of races ranging from races, time trials, and gauntlets to interceptors and rapid responses, as well as hot pursuits and previews. You also have five different classes of vehicles to choose from. One of the best features is the dramatic crash sequences. Hot Pursuit 2010 also has the best car damage in the franchise. If you never played it before, I recommend buying the remastered because it comes with all of its base content and its DLC into one package. Number 3 is where we're hitting the jackpot when it comes to my nostalgia, Underground. This is the first need for speed to not only have a story mode, but also to dive into the import scene. Instead of just circuits, sprints, and time trials, they also included drag races and rift mode. Unlike the previous in FS games, Underground's car selection felt and looked new and fresh. Rather than exotic cars, the game includes some of the most recognizable sedans and hatchbacks. Golf GTI, Ford Focus, Miata MX-5, 350Z, Honda S2K, Toyota Celica, Mitsubishi Eclipse, RX-7, Skyline GTR, and who could forget the beloved Supra. Number 2, Underground 2, it's a little similar to Underground 1, but it's better. Underground 2 added new cars while removing some of them from its predecessor. You got Judah cars, a couple of muscle cars, and freaking SUVs. The customization is more complex, but so damn good. It even has hydraulics to make your friends feel jealous. Underground 2 introduced free roam where you can go for a nice and relaxing drive. It is so much fun to play Underground 1 and 2, but they are not the absolute best, are they? Before we get to number 1, I do have 3 honorable mentions, the run. This game can be pretty fun at times, but we got some problems here. Lackluster story, rubber banding AI, long loading screens, tiers 1, 2, 3 and 6 being only limited to challenge series, etc. Though, not gonna lie, this avalanche level is pretty cool. Nitro. Of course I'm only talking about the Wii version. I really love the art style and the gameplay, but the only problem is that it feels more like a cruising game, not an NFS game, so I left it off the list. Undercover. I remember playing this on the PlayStation 3, but when I watched IGN's review of the game, I can totally understand the flaws, so all I can say about Undercover is, man, my number one favorite Need for Speed game is, Most Wanted, 2012. Oh sorry. Wrong Most Wanted, number one, Most Wanted 2005. How's your car running? <laughs> Paper. I need your pink slip. He's dangerous. Be careful. He'll swap paint if he has to. First, I'm gonna take your ride, and then I'm gonna take your girl. Get ready for that. Stay focused. He's rolling on a lot of power, so wait for him to shift first. Shocker, I know. This was the first Need for Speed game I ever played. I was about 4 or 5 years old and I was amazed at this. There are numerous ways as to why Most Wanted 2005 is the highest peak of the NFS franchise. This includes but not limited to, the exotic cars made a comeback since Hot Pursuit 2, the overall gameplay with the races and cop chases. I'm actually an idiot, I'm actually an idiot. Get on your wheels! 
Oh my god, I'm resetting. <laughs> Rhinos for a while, I'm expecting them to come up soon. Good, there's the spikes. No! No! What? The introduction of lab knockout, speed traps, and toll booth time triumphs. The best soundtrack in the franchise with some of my favorites including You'll Be Under My Wheels, Decadence, Hand of Blood, Feed the Addiction, Tilted, Fired Up, Blinded in Chains, B-Side Wins Again, Nine Thou, Shapeshifter, and more. This car is cool. This car is cooler. These green screen cutscenes. <laughs> my 60 footer quarter mile, whatever you want to throw on the table, smokes anything here. Including this pump gas kit car. Well, then where's your punk money then? Five grand. Five grand, says my boy will smoke this clown. What's your boy have to do with this? I ain't racing this nobody. And I ain't taking orders from some chick who just rolled onto the scene. Yeah. This here is the number 15 guy on the blacklist. You got a lot of rep to earn before you get to run with him. Thanks for the update. Are we doing this or what? I got it. Why don't we make it 10 grand? Oh yeah, you, you wanna amp this up? Let's do it right. Yeah, give me the police. We got a couple of guys about to street race down here at the shipyards. You better send the cops right away. Maybe an ambulance, too. How could anyone forget Sergeant Cross? <laughs> oh, man. Did you pick the wrong street to run on? This... This is a nice car. Gauges, shifter, wheel... Is this all for show, or is there something more I should know about? And finally, the greatest ending in an NFS title. You mean to tell me the most wanted street racer happened to get away? What about the blacklist? Forget the blacklist. They're through. I want every single unit after the guy. Everyone? Everyone! for a future installment to take the crown away from most wanted 2005. Thank you for watching my list. What your favorite in FS game? Let me know in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter.